Okay. Here we go. And as you see, I've got the torch set up. But what I got to do is I got to go in here and preheat this area a little while first. cylinder head is about at 650 degrees. You can see how it's trailing when I move the wand and back and forth. You gotta warm that whole area really good. You don't have much oven time before you gotta put the hat back on. See how cherry it is. Now nah, she's getting there.
Now that's all the time that I got just for that little weld. I got to real quick put the hat back on it. To let the heat normalize back. It's very important that you remember to always um, only do a little bit at a time and put your oven hat back on and let it saturate, saturate the heat so that it don't crack. We're now welding on the other end of the chamber. I'm on my last little bit here. I'll try to get you some close-up shots. Because we're just about through. Always start at the deepest part of the valley, wherever the rust was, to pull it in. Notice how it dances. You can just see it dancing. That tells you you're getting close and you pull back like that to check to see how red it is. It almost looks about like it's wet and that's when you pull the trigger. See that red glow is just about there. I go ahead and warm the area in circles. I can heat, get the heat applied to a bigger area and come back to the center. Because if you get it too hot, it'll, it'll pour a hole. Once you get the first layer on it, it's a piece of cake. It's the initial fuse that's a little rough. And all we want to build up is just a little bit. Then I go around the sides for a little bit of even heat transfer. So I see that red start to disappear. Always take a, a wire brush and hit right around the weld. And what that does is it lets you see, you just got the flux out of it, it lets you see if you got everything. And I can see. Okay, I just went in there and I wanted to show you. I wire brushed this area through here and I missed a spot right there. So I'm going to go back and touch it there and there and a little bit right there. Now, like I mentioned, I believe earlier, 
sometimes, you know, I'll go in here with the orbital sander after the head cools down. I go up there and I'm going to belt sand the head just to see what it looks like because I might have to go back in here and heat this again. See, the problem is you can't see up under them edges. So I'll go ahead. I'm going to finish doing the welding, and then I'll let you watch me as I take the orbital sander and try to level the nickel and see what I got. But that's all the welding. That's it for now. All right, now let's uh, take the wire brush and go over it one last time make sure it's all right. Okay, now that we got a little bit better look, I don't see any leadway. I don't see anything, excuse me, I don't see anything I believe we got everything we were supposed to get. At this point here, I'm going to have to conclude that the welding's done. And then we've, we pretty much have hit everything. I have got the gasket here. I can just do a little check. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on it and cool it down and see what